Good morning, it's our second day here in Jordan and we're still in Oman and about to set off on an early morning trip to Jarash. But first it's time to go for some breakfast. I'm going to have a few tired. Along the way, we stop for some fresh bread from a local baker. After an hour and a half drive from Amman, we finally arrived at Alujon Castle. Ajalun Castle, not Alujon as I just pronounced it, is a 12th century medieval castle perched on a hilltop in the Mount Ajalun district. From its high ground, the castle was guarding three wadis which descend towards the Jordan Valley. It is located on the site of an old monastery, traces of which were discovered during archaeological excavations. Tradition has it that the name Agilun goes back to the Byzantine period monk who lived in the area. Recently, the Department of Antiquities of Jordan has sponsored a program of restoration for the castle. Have a look, shall we? Is that a donkey? Mm -hmm. And that is some type of big records on a stick above that person. Wait. A goat or a horse in vines yeah. and a camel. What's that one? Is that something like a camel it looks like? Yeah. Like a llama in a tree with a human hand. Egg looking pots that are cracked. Hmm. All painted or whatever these are. Mosaics. 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 Yes. Welcome to Jarash. Jarash is considered one of the largest and most well-preserved Roman sites outside of Italy. As we were here for the whole day, we decided to hire Mohammed, an experienced guide with a wealth of knowledge. Here he is now. 
and now most of the remains we are going to see built in the first, second century after Christ Roman remains. Okay. But before the Roman, the Greek city started as a Greek settlement in 330 before Christ when Alexander the Great conquered the East. The reason why the Greek and the Roman they took this place to build the city here because it is rich by water, a little permanent stream passing through the city, because the city itself situated in old trade route, came from the north through Syria, through the city here, near to the south Philadelphia, the old name of Amman, from there again to the south of Jordan, through which they call it the King's Highway to Petra. Now this entrance restored recently, they stopped the restoration, no more original blocks available to go on. Otherwise, the height you see now, still about two-thirds of the original one, a triple gateway. The middle one for the tropic, chariots, wagons to go to come out of the city, the two pedestrians. This entrance is a small copy of the big one you look at behind. That's Hadrian Gate. Hadrian Gate built out of the city in 130 after Christ to celebrate the visiting of Emperor Hadrian to the city here. three pillars around the forum. The pillars survived of the earthquake originally standing, except the first one, lighter by the color than the others. At the end, there are two columns, again a little bit whiter by the color. Two side streets to a housing area over there. The housing area is still covered and buried. The main street in the city of Jarash radiated from the forum straight to the north gate. Later on in our tour, you will walk back through the main The floor original, and there is a difference quite clear. Yeah. The inner side is building from the Roman time. The Roman after that, they enlarged the floor. The temple of Zeus or Jupiter. Zeus the Greek, Jupiter the Roman father god of the gods in Greek and Roman mythology, the most holy part of the temple in the building down. What we see there all survived originally standing, except the pillars, they put them back. Around that building at the four sides were pillars, many as they fell down by the earthquake in front of the temple, they don't touch him yet. The floor we walk on and in there it is new, but this is the little remains of the original floor. Yeah. Come on. That is the best preserved Roman theater we have it in Jordan. Six entrances, the entrance where we come and the other one there, serve the lower seats, the upper seats to there, another two on the side with a passageway behind the building. The wall of the stage, the original height of this wall, it was level with the higher seats on the other side. Only in that section, the seats there numbered for reservation. The number is very clear on the facade of the seats by Greek alphabet. They numbered that side, that side always the shady in the afternoon. In the heat of summer, about three hours, shed there the sun behind and still take the cheap seats. Come and see how the Romans they were very advanced in acoustic. The spot where I'm standing, accurately where I'm standing, it is the center. If you stand by yourself in this spot and you talk normally, as I do now, you will feel you speaking by microphone. Stand there and face that way. Okay, can you hear it a bit? Talk louder. Hello. Yes. Yeah. If you don't mind the climbing and coming down, yeah. if you go to the top, 
then proceed to the other end where the camera. Yeah. From there, a very nice panoramic photology view almost of for everything. the whole site. After that, the small steps, yeah. the entrance, I'm waiting in that shape. No problem. Here we approached a remains of three Christian churches built next to each other. Always the all the classical churches, a rectangular building from the west to the east, usually three entrances through the west wall. The nave were completely paved with mosaic. A little remains of the mosaic floor to the right side of the floor there, some other little remains along the left wall and the side. On the eastern side here, a half circle, the apse or the altar of the church. The first one called the Church of St. George. The one in the middle with the four pillars in, the Cosmos, uh, sorry, the Church of St. John the Baptist. The third one we are going to see there with the wall around called the Church of Cosmos and the Mianos. The mosaic floor in the first two churches badly destroyed because for a long time the floor were partially exposed. The third one, the floor were nicely survived because we were deeply covered under the debris. After 1950, they cleared the floor of the third church. They restored the wall around to protect that mosaic floor we will see there. The mosaic floor we are going to see there, it is the largest as one piece of mosaic floor you can see in Jordan the one we will see it on the other side. The Greek name Diana the Roman, she is goddess of moon, hunting wild animals in Greek and Roman mythology. Now this building, around at the four side were pillars by those, all the pillars together they were supported in the moon.
why they believe this when you use modern music. If you watch the last line of this small service uh, stick there to the bottom, the pier on the right side and the impatient us, they said that's the figure of the whole law. Imagine up to 1982, all the species you see them, they were buried and covered. That's why the difference of the color between the upper and the lower seas. Eleven arches, one in the middle, a little bit wider, higher, it believe contained altar, five smaller on each side. The smaller on each side, they were functioning like the starting gates. Each arch there deep enough to take the chariot, two or four horses. Each small arch have two small swing doors, up to five chariot at the same time, a wood separator in the middle. They start the rest from here to our side, to the north, 250 meter long, making you turn back 250 meter long. Each lap, 500 meter long. Uh, at the hippodrome there, and this side, clearly you see them there restored some of the seats. Already there were 15 segments of seats. Each segment runs around. On each segment, 1,000 people. 15, 15,000 people, the hippodrome, in Jarash accommodated for, and the hippodrome in Jarash, it believed it is one of the smallest hippodrome built by the Roman. We are hippodrome much larger than the one we have it in Jarash, but the one we have it in Jarash, it is the best preserved hippodrome in the whole region except one in south of Lebanon. After our extensive tour of Jarash, we said goodbye to our guide Mohammed and then exited through the gift shop. Just outside the ancient city, our driver stopped at Artemis restaurant for us to get some lunch. On the way in, they give you some fresh bread that they make right in front of you. The food is a bit limited here, just a buffet that is aimed at tourists, and I wouldn't be surprised if drivers get a small kickback for bringing people here. After our lunch, we then drove back to Oman. We just got back from Jarash and we're now back at the Kimpinski Hotel in Oman. And somebody's told us they've got a bowling alley here, so let's go and see if we can find it, shall we? Turns out the bowling alley didn't open till later that evening, so we headed to the swimming pool instead. swimming the bowling alley opened up so we spent a couple of hours there and even had some dinner.
We finish the evening by taking a walk around the local area before heading to bed. So we've got some chocolates, did we Holly? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We've yeah. got two Kinder eggs, some type of circle thing and some type of thing. Yeah? Yeah. Matthew got two things and I got two things. Okay. And now where are we going? We're going back to our room. Okay. Next time on Travel Shorts Jordan.